Hey folks, good morning. Let's reminisce. Time to reminisce. Yeah, let's get some perspective. Where am I going to start off? I'm going to start off, let's see, let me start off with the Euro. Okay, um, in 2001, the Euro, Euro dollar exchange rate traded all the way down to 0 0.80. Then in the ensuing years, I think leading all the way up to 2008, it culminated, it traded all the way up to 160. Then after that, it traded back down, I think around 117. Then it traded back up to around 140, about uh, two and a half years ago. Then it traded all the way down here to 103 and change. Okay, next, let's talk about the yen. In 1995, I remember this, the yen traded down, dollar yen traded down to 0 0.79. Then by 2001, 2002, it was at 146. Then it went all the way back down again, made a new low, I think at 0 0.77 or 0.76. Then it traded um, all the way back up to what, 125 recently. And now it's down to... Uh, then it traded back down to 99 recently. Now it's up to 108. All right. Gold. Let's talk about gold. In the 1990s, gold was 250 an ounce. Then it went all the way up to $1,900 an ounce. We can actually start earlier than that. I mean, uh, in the 70s, gold was 32, right? It was it was at a fixed rate to the dollar. Then they, they uh, broke that gold peg. It went all the way up to, what, 850, 800 or something. Then it went all the way back down to 250. Then it went all the way up to 1900. Then it went all the way back down to, what, last year, like 1,040 or something like that. Then it went all the way back up to almost 1,400, like 1,380. Now it's down to, what, 1,122. Stock market. Um, in 2007, the Dow hit 14,150. That was a, a record at the time. Then by 2009, it was at 6,500. Now it's at 20,000. All right, I can go on and on and on. Oil. I remember being an oil trader on the NYMEX. Oil was at 32. Then it crashed to $9.75. I remember that print. I was standing in the pit on the NYMEX, and I remember even who bought it at 9.75. No, it wasn't me. Then it traded all the way up to 150. Then it traded all the way back down again to, I don't know, maybe 30-something. Then back up to a little over 100. Then back down to 26. Now it's back up around 53. I can go on and on and on with these examples. The moral of the story is, what I'm trying to tell you, is that markets fluctuate. If you have a position on, and it's based on some macro view that we have, based on the flows, based on MMT, and I'm not telling you you're going to have to wait 10 years or 8 years, you got to wait a couple of months. You got to wait a couple of months. But don't sit there and stare at the screen and make yourself nuts. That's what people do. They watch every single tick and every single fluctuation. It's Christmas. This week is a holiday week. First of all, it's a thin week because people are going away on vacation, right? You had the terrible, that terror attack last night in, uh, in Germany, all right? So that's throwing a lot of heat on the euro right now. People saying that's the immigration policy, that's Merkel. You know, there's been a lot of political upheaval and more is, is yet to come. So, I mean, the euro is under pressure, um, understandably so. Doesn't mean it's going to be the end. They're going to do everything to keep that currency together. And I tell you, I told you that even in the countries where they elected anti-Europe politicians or regimes or governments, they don't want to leave the euro, okay? Even Greece, which is, you know, has been destroyed in, in an ongoing depression now for years, they don't want to leave the euro, so. So please, perspective, I always say this, I mean, you know, if you want to trade micro and trade noise, you know, what's happening in the next five minutes into tomorrow, I mean, you know, like I said, that's gambling, that's that's Vegas. But I've given you a lot of examples. I could keep going on and on with these kind of fluctuations. If you want to know what those fluctuations mean, basically you could have chosen any position, any position, buy or sell, and if you stuck it out, you would have made money. That's the yin-yang, folks. That's the universe. That's how it works. Anyway, I'm on a writing deadline. I'll come back later with some more videos. I just wanted to put that out. Bye.